everyone, this is Aishwarya and welcome to Beauty with Coach. So guys, as you can see, your girl is back in black. It means data structure series is going to resume now. So I stopped making videos on data structure because somewhere I felt you guys are not liking my videos. But then I started getting messages on Instagram. So if you haven't followed yet, do follow. And uh, I started getting uh, messages on Instagram and these were like, please continue this series, we need it. And trust me guys, everything will come and go. So new technologies will come and newer will replace that new one, isn't it? But data structure will always be there. Data structure is root of computer science and this is not going to go anywhere. Okay, so yes, in near future, not at all. Okay, so data structure is something you must know. So yes, I stopped data structure series for the longest time, I should say. But yes, now this uh, this series is going to be resumed. So I'm not going to waste your time. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe and hit the bell icon next to it. And after watching, if you find this video, you know what you need to do. You just need to like and share this video with your friends because your friend do need this video. Trust me, guys. So tree. We are going to discuss tree in this video and tree is going to be very helpful for each one of you and tree is a, a bit difficult concept but don't worry i'll try my best to make it simpler one so what tree is this should be the first question isn't it so tree is nothing but a non-linear data structure what does it mean non-linear so if you don't know what data structure mean please go to the first video and uh, if you uh, sorry and what non uh, non-linear means See, linear means one after another. The way we organize data in linked list or in array, one after another, isn't it? So in array, there is a concept of index and in linked list, one node after that one pointer and then another node, isn't it? So this is the case in linear data structure, but in non-linear data structure, sequential manner is not there. So in tree, how can we represent a tree? A root node will be there and after that, few children will be there. So there may be one, two, three, any number of children, one root can have depending upon the type of tree. Okay, so yes, this is going to be the case. And how can, a, don't worry, I'll explain it, uh, everything using example. So how can a tree be represented? So t, tree can be represented using array, it can be represented using linked list, and it can be represented using class. So three ways are there to represent a tree. Okay. So, and one more thing guys, see, let's say there is n node in a tree, then there will be only n minus 1 edges. Why? Because if there is n edge, then what is going to happen? It will become a graph. So, tree is disconnected. Tree is not like, uh, not like a circle. So, if you remove, remove one, in, uh, one edge from the circle, then that is going to be a tree. But if this is a complete circle, then that is going to be a graph. Don't worry, we'll discuss graph in upcoming videos. Now let's start with the example so that you can understand what tree actually is. Okay. So, so guys, any tree can be represented as nodes connected by edges. What does it mean? Let's see an example and we will understand. So first example, A is a node and A has three children, B, C and D. Okay, so yes, B, C and D and A. So four nodes are there and C, you can find one edge between A and B. It means this line is nothing but edge. So yes, tree can be represented as nodes connected by edges. So here A and B are connected by this edge. A and C are connected by this edge. And A and D are connected by this edge. Okay, I hope you understood. Second point, any node can have any number of children but only one parent c a has no parent it means it's a root node so yes root nodes never have a parent okay so yes a is a root node fine a has three children b c and d fine now b has two children e and f c has no child Okay, and here D, D has only one child. So now you can see that A has three children, B, C and D. B has two children, E and F. D has one child, G. And C has no child or children. Okay, so yes, it doesn't have any child. 
so from here you can conclude that any node can have any number of children depending upon the type of tree but every node will have only one parent let's see how e e has only one parent b f has only one parent b b has only one parent a c has only one parent a d has only one parent a g has only one parent d isn't it i hope you understood this point too and what about e f Uh, C and G. These are leaf nodes. So, what is leaf node? Leaf node is nothing but nodes having no children. Okay, so E has no child, F has no child, C has no child, and G has no child. It means it. These are nothing but leaf nodes. And A has no parent. It means it is nothing but root node. Okay, fine. I hope you understood till here. so i hope you understood the basics of tree isn't it if no then please do let me know in comment section i'll try to explain it in a better way and now we are going to uh, see the tree traversal so famous three tree traversals in order traversal post order traversal and then pre order traversal we are going to see all the three using one single example in the simplest way possible so yes in the simplest way possible how we will see the example and you, everything will be clear Okay so let's see the example and understand the tree traversal concept because trust me guys this is one of the most famous question asked in any interview asked in gate and and your semester exams too so let's get started with tree traversal example so guys this is nothing but our binary tree why because each node is having at most two children isn't it see this is root node so a is nothing but root node why because it doesn't have a parent so this is the root node okay and what about d e f and g these are leaf nodes why because these do not have child or children okay so what will we do how can we find pre order in order as well as post order okay of that of this tree sorry so yes first step is to add dummy nodes to all the leaf nodes so what are the leaf nodes d e f and g leaf nodes are nothing but nodes having no child at all so we are going to add two dummy nodes okay so yes why two because we want it to remain binary tree okay so we cannot add more than that so yes we added two okay now how can we get pre order in order as well as post order okay so see start traversing the this tree from no, root okay from root node we we will start traversing the tree and whenever we you visit any node for the first time print it in pre order whenever you visit any node for the second time print it in in order and for the third time then print it in post order so this is going to be the sequence so let's start traversing from a or the root node so yes we traversed a for the first time isn't it so just follow the flow okay so yes since a is traversed once so it is going to be printed in pre order okay so because printed uh, because traversed once okay now b so we visited b for the first time so b is going to be printed okay now just follow the flow so d so d is visited once or the for the, for the first time isn't it so yes d now d is visited for the second time first time and now second time isn't it it means d is going to be printed in in order okay now c d is visited for the third time what does it mean d is going to be printed in post order don't worry at the end of the traversal we are going to have our pre order post order as well as in order okay so now c b b is visited for the second time so it means it is going to be printed in in order now we visited e for the first time isn't it because before that we haven't visited e yet so for the first time it means in pre order so yes okay it's in pre order now we visited e for the second time so for the second time it means in in order just follow the flow see we visited e for the third time so third time means post order okay now b so first time second time and third time we visited b for the third time it means b is going to be printed in post order so b is printed now start 
from B and C. We visited A for the second time. First time and now second time. Isn't it? Second time means in order. So in, in order we printed A. Okay. After that we visited C for the first time. Isn't it? Before this we haven't visited C yet. So since it's for the first time it is going to be printed in pre-order. Now F for the first time. So F. For the second time, so F for the second time, it means F is going to be printed in in order. F for the third time, third time means post order. Now C, C, C is visited for the second time, first time and now second time, isn't it? Second time means nothing but in order. So yes, in order. After that, G, so G is visited for the first time, isn't it? It means in pre-order now just follow the flow so C G is visited for the second time first time second time so since second time then G is in in order fine C G is visited for the third time isn't it so for the third time it means in post order now C so first time second time third time so C is visited for the third time it means in post order and finally a a is visited for the third third time first time second time third time so in post order so by the end of the traversal we have our a pre order in order as well as post order you can apply this to any binary tree so i hope you understood everything we discussed in the video that is basics of tree and tree traversal if no then do let me know in comment section i'll try to explain it in a better way and if yes, please share your feedback. Actually, I need your feedback, no matter whether it's positive or negative, because I started a data structure video after a long time. And now I want to know your feedback. So yes, feedback is very important, guys. So no matter whatever you feel about this video, about this series, please, please, please do let me know in comment section. So with this note, I'm wrapping up this video. So stay healthy, stay fit. Love you all. This is Ashwara signing off. Bye bye.